here welcome to my channel this is part two of the Hamilton video and I've got the parts kind of in here just resting I've taken the balance and rested on a piece of Rodico so the pivots are safe I think these hands are actually stuck together with oil so I'm gonna to have to do something around that so see how they're the, the minute hand and the second hand are stuck together and that's that oil that you saw before and I know there's oil on the uh, on this there's oil on the center wheel and I don't know. This thing is full of oil. Not sure why, but it is. So I've got the rest of the stuff just sitting there and putting that aside right now. And I'm going to disassemble the pocket watch right here. So I'm not going to worry about gloves in this very quick disassembly because this thing's going to go into my watch machine, my watch cleaning machine, and will be completely spinky and spanky when I'm done. So, so I've already taken the power off the watch. Um, I'm kind of curious whether the um, whether these screws will be stuck or good or what because sometimes these things get stuck and I'm not sure and I, again never sure which direction these ones go here okay that goes loosey righty instead of righty tighty so that's kind of atypical of a pocket watch so this as the wheel spins the screw doesn't loosen it tightens so I'm just gonna remove that and I should be able to just lift this right up. I'm not sure if I can or not, but I may just remove this, which is the the click. This is the click spring. So this is the ratchet wheel then, because this is the ratchet for the click. So I'm just going to loosen that. i got to admit, um, Buddy, I'll call him Buddy, whoever did the maintenance on this pocket watch before, um, look at that, the Rodico lifted this up. How handy is that? Okay. how handy um, whoever did the because there's so much damn oil on the watch there's uh, no problem with corrosion all the screws are coming out nicely but that's got to be the reason why this thing was almost impossible to uh, to regulate because of the oil on the thing right the thing was laced with oil I wonder if I can lift this up with my Rodico what do you think okay I got part of it so Rodico is man's best friend look at the oil in there look at the amount of oil i got to show you this here look at this it's soggy with oil look at that oh my god no wonder this watch is all over the map with regulation i think i'll put watch paper down otherwise i'm going to cause an oil slick on my mat so i'm just put down some watch paper here soak up a bit of this oil oh hey get back on the mat there we go Put that on the mat so it soaks up some oil because I'm really not liking all that oil. And this seems like it's in there nice. I don't want to put too much stress on this wheel here, but there we go. That wasn't that hard actually. So just move that aside. And this is oil central, so I'm going to just push that down on the watch paper. See if I can get rid of some of that oil. And the watch paper is kind of over on the side here, so you're not really seeing that. And again, there's another little spring here. That's for the click spring. And these springs I do not want to remove. I'll just make sure that the screws are tight so they don't find a home somewhere in my cleaning machine. That's good there. And I can take this plate off, I believe. So let's just remove this plate. This will be the world's fastest part two. And again, the screws are nice and loose because there's, I think somebody dipped this whole darn watch movement in oil. Oil's well, it runs well. So that's all three screws. That's one. One, I should check and see for oil there. Two. And three. I'm, wonder, I'm also curious whether the right type of oil was used. Like, did, when did they use actually use watch oil when they did this? Or did they just take oil and kind of use oil there we go plates out check for oil in the bottom just gonna rub it on my watch paper here because yeah there's oil this thing is full of oil so i'm gonna have words with the owner words i tell you i'm gonna take out the center wheel here which is probably also full of friggin oil and take out i can leave this in place i'll take out the mainspring barrel i imagine when i open that baby up there's going to be a lot of oil but we'll do that in 
another part of the video. And these screws are not tight at all, by the way. I'm just, and that's because this, the previous watchmaker decided to soak everything in oil, so nothing seems to be tight. Let me see if this one's tight. Nope, loose. So this watch, I'm not sure if it was disassembled or what, but this is in pretty dire straits, man. Pretty dire straits and not the band, okay? Not the Sultan's of Swing. Let me just put this on the watch paper for a second. There we go. I'm just trying to absorb as much oil as I can from this thing. Yeah, lots of fun, man. Lots of fun. All right. Oh, my God. I'll show you some of the slicks in a second that I have here. And this would be the intermediate wheel. I'm just going to put that down there. And this would be the fourth wheel, likely full of oil. And I can take out the escapement wheel. As I was lectured a long time ago, the escapement is everything, not just the wheel. So, and I'll remove remove the pallet fork here. So, I'm trying to figure out which screwdriver to use for the pallet fork. I think I got all my screwdrivers out right now. Let's see if this one fits. Yeah, that's a good one. And the world's fastest disassembly of a watch. And I imagine the pallet fork is full of oil. Oil's well that ends well. So the wife's at the cottage right now, and I'm able to do this work because of that. I'm just trying to see where the step up is to get this thing off. I may just do that. That was a good way to do it. No pressure on the pivot whatsoever. And now I can lift that pallet fork straight up. Like that. And I'm going to put that in my container over there later on. So. And this jobby doohickey, I'm not sure if I can lift this straight up or not, right? Because it has all the springs on the other side, right? So, uh, not quite sure. Can I lift that up? Yeah, I can. Look at that. So that comes right out, which is really nice. So there, that'll go into the wash machine. I imagine this is full of oil as well. So the only thing I'm not, things I'm not taking out, let me look at that plate full of oil. Look at that. Look at that. Full of oil. I've never seen an oilier watch in my life. Look at that, I'm just cleaning up some of the oil here. Get rid of some of that stuff because it's going to be hard for the uh, wash machine. It's going to go, what the hell's going on here with all this oil? And of course, I'm going to have to do the jewels and all that stuff for this watch. So that's part one. This is part two, the world's fastest part two. And that's it. And if I go back here you'll see all the stuff laying around here including the pallet fork which is way over there and I just push all these screws out of the way and I've got the pallet fork um, right over here that beeping you're hearing is means it's six o'clock and there's some really cheap Chinese watch I bought a long time ago that's got that basically beeps every time at six o'clock i want to put a sledgehammer through that thing because it's really pissing me off anyway so there's the watch uh, disassembled i still have to take the barrel apart it's a going barrel so i need to snap the cap off that barrel and take the mainspring out and i need to put all these things in the wash machine and wash that stuff up so i won't bother making a video on all that because you guys have seen that from me a million times and then then i will get at that under here where I've got that uh, the balance cock and the crazy regulator and the screw that doesn't seem to be the right one. So we'll deal with that later. So thanks for watching my channel. Thanks for watching my videos. This will be a quick one. And stay safe and have a good weekend.